Hey, remember when the game was what, visible? <laughs> yep. I've gotten so many levels. Look at how big those homing missiles are. Oh, random always. Remember when I could m not move? Thanks for messing around. It's more Vampire Survivors Beswick. We're getting close to the 300 mark, and Brad Fang's going to be going to Dairy Plant to take on some fire. Gotta get the, see what the combination between Greatest Jubilee and Fire Logs can pull off. By the way, this is post commentary because I use another audio program that stole the settings for this. And even though I tested the audio beforehand, the mic source between this and uh, streaming is different. So I didn't catch this until the very end. Good golly gosh. Check the chapters for when I speak again.
<laughs> uh, don't you just love it when other programs steal your audio settings and completely mess them up? I have been talking this entire time. Once again. But no. No. It wanted to completely mess up the settings for OBS, even when I didn't even have OBS open at the time I was using the other program, you stupid thing. I tested the audio to make sure it sounded right, and it did. But the one I use for Vampire Cyrus is a different program than... Anger. Hatred. Despise you, Google. Yeah, so anyway, this is Brad Fang on the dairy plant. Using Greatest Jubilee to spawn in light sources, and then Firelight to try and blow them up. Not very successful so far. And the Greatest Jubilee and the other stuff just sort of blow it up earlier than intended. But he, it's very... gives a lot of survivability on account of all the light sources and stuff spawning in. And the luck and stuff from Wicked Season, you know, helps it out too. That's why I grabbed it. Da -da -da. All right, 21 in. You know, I've completely lost train of what I was thinking about. Because, you know, it stole my settings again. It makes no sense. Why does it do that? How could it affect OBS? I didn't have OBS open. Urgh. Now, because this is so successful, and the fact that I'm so behind on my schedule, I can't afford to redo it. The same thing happened with the brownie video yesterday. It was literally only a few hours off of posting, so I couldn't redo the audio on that. Like, I should have. And all because Stanley kept failing over and over again, and a bunch of real-life nonsense stocked up badly. Of course, I had to handle. You know, because either that or suffer. And while I really do appreciate my suffering, I like it to be from my own actions, not from the whims of fate. Which is, you know, what happened here? The whims of fate. Just randomly stealing my audio. It was its, the audio for my new mic was at 16 when I woke up. I had it at 80 when I went to sleep. I had it at 80 when I was recording Starship Troopers Extermination yesterday. So why did it get switched to 16? It's because another program I had to use stole it. It changed it without my consent or knowledge, even when I keep telling it not to. And what's worse is it somehow changed the OBS settings from changing the mic to nothing. It had no audio recording going on. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that. Now I'm so distracted by this nonsense. At least I can re-record something. Oh, it... Oh, boss here. Is there a vacuum on the ground? Yeah. Wait, there were more enemies spawned in? What is going on? Not remotely enough to be this problematic? Well, maybe it's just because of the levels. Maybe they're HP level here. You know, probably get enough just, you know, power-ups to chew through this with no issue. There's a vacuum up here. Grab it. I know there's a rosary and stuff up here. Oh, there's the vacuum. Boo. We want to do that. So we just have no choice sometimes. I got double Warlogians, grenades, world. You know, there's a rose around here, too. Grab that Warlogian as soon as Wicked Season spawns. Get them chickens going. Hey, got a bunch of grenades over there for when the bigger waves spawn in. 
Wait, no, they won't go down to grenades. They're too healthy at this point. Wow. Yep, yeah, there's a grenade. I have a rosary over there. And I have enough revives. I've got three revives. This should be fine. Some oh, giant robot wave spawning in finally. There's a rosary to my left. As soon as this stops, I'll go grab it. Another one. And an Orlogian. Another Orlogian. Okay, and there is keeping the robots trapped, well, big golems trapped in a frozen hellscape the entire time they're on screen. There's no way they're getting through this. And not a single death, just because Greatest Jubilee spawned in a billion power-ups for me. Not a lot of damage. I was hoping for more. But, got through Dairy Plant. You know? Yeah. Well, if you get through Dairy Plant with that little damage, then it's probably a surprisingly good build, huh? Okay, this time for round two, and with audio from the start. And we have completed a regular stage. Now it's a challenge stage, which means boss rash. Going for the same build. Oh, actually, probably with less heart of fire. And more not heart of fire. Actually, this is terrible on boss rash. I'm not going to be able to get through the Gyoru Tans. Well, I guess that's what Awake is going to be for. Well, oh, actually, once I have Greatest Jubilee, it'll be fine. So, I mean, spread shot, get the weapon going. Oh, Clover. Maybe if they don't blow up, they won't chain together and I can do something else. Yep, here we go. All right, more bosses is more XP. So get that going ASAP. Oh, or Logan. Could have saved that for a later, better time. I am low on health, so I want to get some chickens if I can. In fact, I should have saved it for now. But until things get better, they're only going to get worse. All right, hey, light sources. And not a chicken among them. Oh, more light sources. And still not a chicken among them. Got luck. Surprising amount of luck, actually. Good. Barrier, there's a chicken good. More chicken. Hmm. Well, no, I might have just enough defensive stuff. Power ups spawned in. Yep, oh, or Logan. Yeah, just get enough power ups and it'll be fine. Get the weapons maxed out ASAP. Ones that can evolve anyway. Hey, fire legs ASAP, nice. Oh. Oh man. Oh, can't shoot outside the map. Whoa, I stayed still too there for too long. Dang it, didn't want that till I got back into growth season. Oh, you're getting up on me too. Yeah, Wicked Season over Heart of Fire's or er, Old Sanctuary over Heart of Fire is probably the better call. Growth season. No, nope, it's Hag. Alright, get the spreadsheet out so I can get that prototype right away. Alright, there's Finisher grabbed. All right, there we go with the prototype. Ain't not stun locked. That's unfortunate because I don't want to waste all my delicious XP early. 
Oh, you got taken down. Nice. I guess I'm a much lower level than I would be in inlay library at any point, so. Well, let's grab you ahead of time. Oh, and the clover. You skeleton wave getting burned to ash. I want to talk about Dark Souls. Gwyn was right. Oh, the boss thing is gone. Oh, is there a vacuum around here? Oh, just random always. Well, I should have grabbed the amount. Oh, here we go with the bosses. Granted, this is actually detrimental at this point since I don't want to levels. It'll give me less power up than not. Or Logan it. Well, I'm about to get cursed, so. Hmm, was I really just in rapid fire? That long? I must have been. Oh, there's my Arcana chest. And just because it's this map, Heart of Fire will not be as useful. So let's go awake. Nope. Man, that was bad. Oh well. Oh, crab battle. Crab battle is a lot. At least I don't have to worry about dying. Oh. Yeah, get you up. I want more bosses. No, I don't want more bosses. Oh no, you're too scary. I didn't even grab anything that time. Or a uh, vacuum around here somewhere. Hard to tell. Nope, oh, double or Logan used. I should have more than enough or Logans to get through this in the end. They just keep spawning in. Yeah, I should avoid bosses, adding any more bosses in. Not really going to add anything other than a tiny bit of XP. XP is almost detrimental at this point. Man, they are not healing as much as they could. Ah, dang it, I thought I was too... I miss... I avoided it. Ooh, do not grab that. Ah, uh, probably should have saved that. And that. Oh man, I am messing up bad. Oh boy. Oh, there you are, Ender. Alrighty. Actually, does Ender get the benefit of curse? I don't actually know. It's NFT in. Oh, I grabbed it. Oh, dang it. Moved me down. Oh, there's an Aura Logan. I can at least do that. Oh, there's a grenade. And that tosses them all aside. Except, apparently, Trickster. Huh? Oh, Stalker hadn't spawned in yet. No, nope. that well, was timed poorly again. Well, Rosary will get him. Hang on, don't stop drifting. Oh, right, I need to move to get health. Wow, it's hard to tell what's going on. Wow. What a ridiculous way this is. Even with who knows however many things that are on the floor, I can't see anything to actually grab it. Jeez. Oh, there's a chicken up there. I can barely see it. Yep. Skip to do. Good thing I grabbed awake. That's two more revives to go through. Let's 
See, the Gyorutan wave is easier because it's much better possible, more possible to actually dodge it. Granted, you can't rosary them, but still. Whoa. Oh, Orlogan should take me to the top. As long as I grab some more of these chickens. Yep, man, there is old Deathy Death himself. The Reaper has arrived. And Ender hasn't left. Well, this was not a high damage build. It was more of a survivability build on accident. Yeah, pretty poor damage. But if you can get through a stage with it, with damage that poor, and it's not a really good build, but it's one that works. All right, and time to round off old Brat Fang on an easy, easy Moonglow bonus stage. Oh yeah, Moonglow. No trouble gonna be happening here? Sure, why not? Like I said, there's not gonna be any trouble here. Okay, I guess question mark. Yeah, sure. Why not? I get literally no benefit whatsoever out of that. Why not? I get no benefit whatsoever out of that. In fact, it's actually negative. Wow, it's so tiny. Oh, empty tome. Oh, I haven't actually used Sonic Bloom. Sure. But it's Moonglow. I don't really need to do anything. Right, lower on health of more cooldown, I get that's what goes on with him. Oh, right. Oh, well, I can just banish it. Yeah, cooldown's up to 27. And there's only so much you can do on Moonglow. It has one kind of tricky thing later on, but otherwise it's nothing. Wow, it does no damage at all. Oh, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. And what am I going to talk about? Nothing. Oh, rapid fire, nice. All right. I'll get the cooldown up farther. 84, that's about as high as it's going to go. Okay, greatest jubilee. Still need that. Get you out of the pool so I don't actually dentally hit you. And get you. Level up that weapon. I think Bloom is armor, so I can't actually level up either of them. Well, greatest Jubilee carry. Oh, wow. I'm actually going to die. Well, not having all that luck bonus certainly is a fallen. And again, Greatest Jubilee is Greatest Jubilee. Nope, out of health. And it won't matter, because I'll get a light... No, I will not get health out of this. That was unlucky. Oh, there's some chicken. Delicious, delicious chicken. And a vacuum orb. Oh, cooldown maxed out. Get the Jubilee going. Got a lot of cooldown because he gets cooldown and speed. Well, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's just cooldown with lower health. Actually, that makes him very good for a divine bloodlining, wouldn't it? You can keep yourself to the max. This is without. Sign old Sanctuary 2. So yeah, good way to set it up. Divine Bloodline with him. You'll get faster and faster cooldown and you'll hit the cap. And you get damage off of it. So yeah, maybe for when I come back around to him on the fifth wave, because fourth is something very specific. 
I will be able to do something much fresher. Wait, no. Fifth wave is going to be brave story. Just random always all the time. No choice on my parameter. Just whatever's at top. Well, no, just brave story. Let it ride. And fourth wave is still so very far off, so I don't need to prep for it yet. And though it's going to be a very expensive prep, what could it possibly be? And fourth wave is also going to last somewhat forever. Two in comparison. We'll say this, it won't be four stages in one video. Because, well, that would just balloon every video out to an hour long, and that is bad. Long videos are overpowered if you actually have viewers. Yay, thanks for watching. Uh oh, spaghettios. Fire tornado, fire tornado, fire tornado. Inexplicable fire tornado because I just randomed my arcana because of a finger slip. Yep, and that's just sort of the thing. I just sort of roll with all the issues. Now, a good content creator would actually fix things. Make sure they're set up correctly. But I'm not. Not at all. That's why after six months, I just barely beat 100 subscribers. Almost seven months. I think it actually is seven months by now. But thank you for everyone who has commented, like, disliked, or subscribed. I like seeing the numbers go up, and I wish I could offer more, but... And well, it's not like I can't offer more other than the content that's being posted. Not that I'm going to be hitting members any time this century. But I do not really have any... Oh, hey, it's you. I've never seen the Golden Merchant before. Why are you here, actually? Oh, I can buy max eggs. Oh, that's a lot of things going up. How long is this going to last? I had so much money saved up, huh? Well, I can just disable the golden eggs on Brad Fang for later. God, I had so much money. That's without even a real Sammy run either. Well, we can see how many eggs I gained at the end. Oh, right, crab battle. The eggs don't go into effect until the next run, so we won't see how ridiculous this gets till then. But it's going to be weird seeing my cash flow at zero, huh? Hey, I bought max eggs. Yeah, that'll be the chapter cut for this one. Wow, I do no damage, huh? Absolutely no damage. Oh, crap, I'm dying. Well, I do have a wake, so it's not that big a deal, but still... No <laughs> way. a fire. No Sonic Bloom. Sonic Bloom. Super Sonic Bloom. Wait, I was really close enough to get that. Yep. Whoa. They're durable. Fire Tornado. Fire Tornado. Go. Burn them all to ash. Reduce these plants to their composite atoms. Which will be ash and not carbon. Wait, no. Ash is carbon. Or is it silicone? Dun dun dun. Oh well, it's Moonglow. There's not really much to think about other than inexplicably grabbing, deciding to max out my eggs. 
I just went full lazy, you know, thinking, and it's still working out. Boom. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a grenade. Will that do anything? Not really. Wait, I thought I was doing 8,000 before, but I only do 1,000 there. Oh, I need an arcana. Yes, lost and found painting will be so useful here. No, none of these weapons are... Well, technically Sonic Bloom is. If it bounces, I guess. Well, no. Firearm is, but that's never ever going to happen where it's relevant. Or a Logan, and that should last long enough to get to the end and show the Reaper what for. If all the little trashier enemies are keeping up with this gold rush surprisingly long. Oh, there's death. I'll see how long you go, Deatho. Not bad. And I got 142,000 eggs out of that. Wait, four. Wait, did I go up to si to excessive? Well, obviously it was going to be excessive, but still. 142,420.4. I mean, I know it can go up longer than that, but look at them stats. <laughs> Sorry, 50 recovery. Hey, remember when the game was what, visible? <laughs> yep. I've gotten so many levels. Look at how big those homing missiles are. Oh, random always. Remember when I could m not move? Wee wee. Wee. Uh, hey, Atlantean, where are you at? I don't know where you're at. It's so hard to tell. Oh man, it's just like in Morrowind. Eventually, I'll hit a cap of something. I can't even pick it up. Well, I can pick it up, but I've got so many levels coming in. Hey, it actually stopped. 50 area and 50 duration will clearly make things better. Look at how big that NFT is. One more egg will clearly solve all the issues. Right, I don't know where Double Gold Merchant is. The one that allows you to take away your move speed. I mean, this is still controllable compared to some things. And heck, I got plenty of... Uh, whatchamacallit? Experience in dealing with outrageous move speed because of Morrowind. I swear I didn't go deep enough to actually proc him in like that. And, you know, you can always just disable golden eggs, so that way when I get to fifth wave, I can do this pure and honestly, instead of watching this nonsense occur on screen. Look at how... Look at the arrows going in circles. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Oops, bought all the golden eggs. Okay, that's enough. Just a little bit of extra stuff on the back end. I quit out. Alright, and that's the end of Brad Fang's Adventures. 204 damage with Blood Astronomia, because it was the only thing hitting anything. Thanks for watching. Brad Fang action. Okay, and Brad has successfully taken us up to 295. 296. And 297 on the Beswick. And let's see how many that does. That takes us down to 1635 left in total. And tomorrow, Lucy is going to take us up to a nice round 300 character stage combinations beat.
plus minus one heading. All right, that was easier than I expected. Thank you for watching the Vampire Survivors Beswick. I appreciate anyone who would like to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Your support keeps me going. Either way, I hope you have a good day and that you keep messing around.